I've got my eye on you. Hey, you need something? Sure is. You looking for work? Nah, you're the adventurous type. Only time you'll live to pick is to bash in some beastie's skull, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. What brings you out here to the arse end of nowhere? Well, it isn't locked. Go ahead and take a peek. Might want to keep it quiet, though. Don't want Oteri's guards spotting you, trust me. They keep things locked down tighter than my fat auntie's bodice. Sure, I've got a few minutes. Yeah, who am I kidding? I've got plenty of time! What do you want to know? Other than Oteri's guards? We have cave-ins every now and then. Unruly slaves and such. Then there's Mazanchent. But I'm sure you're not interested in that. Ash, get in your eyes on the way here. You can't miss those gloomy old dwarf towers. The way I hear it, Mazanchen ruins cut right under the mine. Plenty of treasure down there just waiting to be plucked. Ah, that's what I've heard, anyway.
racy machine, eh? Figured you'd find it quickly enough. <laughs> I knew you weren't interested in Guama Caves. One of those black-hearted magisters sent you to filch this thing, am I right? I've got a proposition. I can tell you what little I know and give you a key to Mzanchent. In exchange, you give me any notes you find in there. Anything about how it was built, what it does, anything. Got a nice offer from an interested party. Well, that does make things easier. Gold's gold, right? So, Terry locked the crystal in place and took certain parts of the machine so no one else could turn the damn thing off. We need those parts to turn off the machine and get the crystal. The parts you need are somewhere in Mizanchet, but I'm not sure where. I spent a lot of time watching Oteri. From what I can tell, you'll need a crank, a spur gear, one of the smaller pistons, and uh, uh, some kind of handle. Sure. I've been keeping a sharp eye on Oteri ever since he set up shop in here. I still don't know what the damn thing does, but I'll tell you what I can. Prism? Oh, right. Now I see it. I guess he found it in the ruin, yeah? All kinds of dwarven antiques in there, along with the parts you need. I think he hides the pieces to keep us from nabbing the crystal, the paranoid old skeever. Sorry, but I skipped school the day they taught dwarf machine magic. Got no idea, friend. I could hazard a guess. Looks a little like my pa's old jaw harp. So, maybe it makes music or something. Some kind of death music, I bet. You damn dwarfs. A rascal like me has to look out for his own interests, right? Oteri dropped his key a few days back. I grabbed it, and made the wax mold while he wasn't looking. Didn't take long to make a rough copy. Yeah, you've got to jiggle it a bit, but it works. Don't let some dwarven tra-
Lemon's Clubs! The Kwama are... What is this thing? Never mind! Get out of here, through the East Mine! The rocks were falling, the Kwama attacking, so many lost. Has the dust blinded you? I barely made it out with my tail intact, and I wasn't far from the door. Some may have escaped, but not all. Oh, by the egg, what could have done this? I'm getting away from this place. Perhaps this misfortune can turn to my salvation. The slave masters will think me a corpse, lost to the mine's collapse. I can use that to my advantage. The hist is gone. You didn't get yourself killed? That's promising. Ugh. What's that I smell? Grease and Kwama dung? Let's make this quick, Noir. I won't have you soiling my rugs any longer than necessary. The prism. Do you have it? Well, that is a surprise. I do hope this isn't some cheap forgery, for your sake. Ah. Some kind of merged tonal prism. A lively one, too. Fascinating. I do hope that fool Othery didn't damage it. He's almost as clumsy as you. Vexhead, do you still labor under the delusion that you have some power in this place? Huh. It's hardly worth discussing. I've grown tired of our little chats. 
You completed the task I set before you. You can have your lizard back. Sarah, I cannot thank you enough for helping me. I wasn't sure if I'd ever leave Tel Arun alive. I'm sorry. I know I've asked too much of you. Sage advice. I've had my fill of schemes for now. I plan to dedicate myself to my studies and try to patch things up with the Oki. The last time I saw him, I said some hurtful things. Again, thank you. Next time you're in Sadrith Mora, come visit. I am a free mage of House Telvanni. You had no right to imprison me. You presume to lecture me? You, who conspired to kill my servant? Thank whatever scaly gods you worship that I didn't rend the flesh off your back and feed you to the tower's roots. Cross me again and your life is forfeit. We're done here. Be gone. Worst humiliations were behind me. I guess I was wrong. Yes, well, I will be languishing in Gothrin's slave pens, just it took me back to darker times. Reminded me of the risks and my good fortune up to this point. Perhaps I've been pushing too hard. I have a great deal to think about. I'll return to Sadrith Mora and continue my studies. Talk to Ioki, bury myself in a good novel. Come and visit. It would be great just to sit and talk for a while as friends. I still owe you that cup of tea, right? You return escaping Khajiit to that beast, Gothrin. And now I hear about our egg kin crushed in the Zalkin Sul mine. I thought I understood you, but I do not. Iyoki, wait! I'm trying to be strong enough for the both of us. Iyoki berated me because the Zalkin Sul cave and killed some miners. You stole the prison to save us from Magister Gothrin. I suffered humiliation in a cage while you did what was necessary. Is that so wrong? No, of course not. I care deeply for Ioki. I want to help him, but I can't save everyone. I serve House Telvani. I am Telvani. He must understand that the House traditions may bend, but they will not break. I've never seen him so angry. I certainly hope not. But if he's lost faith in our plan, anything's possible. Ioki won't listen to me. 
but he might still heed your counsel. Would you talk to him? The Magisters will only tolerate so much defiance if he makes another attempt. I knew she would send you. Know that I do not blame you for your role in all this. We are, both of us, victims of Telvani lies. This place deadens the soul, pure and impure alike. Now, let me guess. My heart sent you to counsel patience, yes? No Saxleal reaches for a branch beyond their grasp, but all the waiting all the compromises. My patience rushes down river. My companions and I must get a message to the ropefish. Will you help? The ropefish are people smugglers, led by an orc named Kartog. I had hoped to work with him directly. Unfortunately, we must deal with one of his lieutenants, Bothamul. You must deliver the message before our distraction can begin. We can discuss the distraction soon. First, we cast the lure and hook the fish. Go to the inn and look for an orc named Atarga. Approach her, say, Vasamsi mine, and give her this payment. Deal only with Atarga. Hist protect you. Ask what you wish, but speak quickly. I feel the Slave Master's eyes on me. They have a good reputation for getting the job done, as long as you have the gold to pay. Bothamul asks a high price, but we have few choices. We pooled our resources. Many small fish can feed a whale, yes? The Telvani see us as beasts, almost too stupid to push a broom. We use that to our advantage. I never thought I would be a thief, but given the circumstance, I feel no remorse. It is a forgetting place where the noblest slaves labor until they die. That beast, Gothrin, hires thugs and murderers to guard it. They whip and kick and curse without restraint, without mercy. We aim to free those slaves. If I were, we would not have met. No one ever leaves Vasamsi. Even so, some of my friends are imprisoned there. I thought if Sun and Shadow freed me quickly, I could snatch them up on the way out of Vardenfell. Now I see that she does not care. There was a time when that made a difference, but now it does not. My spines wilt at the idea of leaving her, but she does not understand me. Slaveborn Lukiel cannot hear the hist. She does not know me. She does not even know herself. Sujama. How much has she had? Sujama kicks like a bow-legged Echatair. Let her sleep it off. Ah. Come on, Atarga. Aim for the stairs. So many stairs? Wait. I was supposed to do something. I don't like drinking with strangers. Tusk off! Atarga's drunk as sanguine on Sundas. Won't get nothing but puke and bad jokes out of her. She told me why she was here. Dragging a few slaves cross the border, eh? You give me the payment and I'll let the boss know. Savvy? 
Fine. Lug that gold to both Amul yourself. No skin off my tusks. Camp's near Gothrin's place. Tell Arun. I'll even mark your map, seeing as we're fit to be partners soon. Keep your gob shut about a targa getting sauced, eh? One headache's enough. My friend, over here. Well, this is a coincidence. I came for a bottle of dry white. What brought you here? Have you spoken to Yoki yet? No! Yes, forgive me. I just couldn't keep pacing around the house gnawing my claws. Is Yoki all right? What did he say? He's not planning to do something foolish, is he? Bossomsi? You mean Gothrin's slave prison? What in the name of... I know he distrusts me now, but you can't let him do this. If the truth of our relationship gets back to the Council, I'll go to the mine. Maybe I can talk him out of this. I won't keep you. 